YouTube. So today is week three of my diet of the 20 weeks. So I've got two weeks done, 18 to go, and it's gone good. Um, to update you on my weight, today I weighed in at 124. So I'm actually only down two pounds. I'm actually up a half pound from last week, but overall I'm actually down a half pound if you average it out over the week. So um, I've got a bit of PMT going on. This results in my weight going up. It results in me being quite cranky. It results in me being um, quite sore around the boobs. And um, me wanting to eat everything, chocolate, crisps, everything. Everything that I'm not meant to have. And I've been quite good. I've been resisting. I've been hitting my targets and just, you know, trying to tame the inner beast. And um, getting by. It's hard, but you know, women problems. Um, so my weight is up like a half pound today, but uh, overall my measurements are down. So my waist has gone down another quarter of an inch. My legs have actually dropped this week by um, just under half an inch. Um, what else? My bum is the same this week. Um, arms and chest the same, but waist and legs going down. And I'm definitely feeling leaner. Um, I think my abs are starting to show again, which is good. Starting to make a reappearance. So, um, training. I'm into the second phase of my training, so I'm just creating that at the moment. As you know, I'm doing high volume. So I'm kind of creating it as I go, thinking up new exercises, trying to keep it um, interesting and hitting all the different um, body parts. So yesterday I did a high volume upper body uh, with shoulders and back and at the time I was just sweating a lot and just feeling like, you know, I was putting in the effort but I didn't feel like I was getting a burn on the muscle but I can feel it today, I can feel my back, it feels quite pumped now. I, I do have quite a strong back anyway. but. Um, yeah, I don't normally do high volume with my back, so it's different for me doing high volume. I usually just um, lift heavy with my back, but right now it's high volume and I'm enjoying it. It's something different. Um, what else? Lex has gone to Birmingham today. He's gone down to Gymshark HQ, so I'm not really sure what's going on or whatever, but he's gone off for the day, so I'm on my loom. So, uh, but I have some visitors coming. Um, I've One of my best friends from Ireland is coming tomorrow with her husband an impromptu visit so um, she just messaged me last night so I'm quite excited I haven't seen any of my friends since December and now it's July so that's a ridiculously long amount of time and then next week one of my uh, childhood friends um, Trisha from Scotland who I've known because her family are from her mum is from Longford in Ireland where I'm from and she spent her summers with her auntie um, and her auntie was my mum's best friend so I got to spend all my summers with her and we remain friends so 30 odd years of friendship and uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to seeing her next week. So that's all happy go lucky stuff going on in my life. Um, me and Lex have also booked um, a vacation to Mexico in December. We've never actually been on a vacation, we've travelled the world together but we've never actually been on a you know relax and chill out vacation so 11 days in Mexico and I'm really looking forward to that Roxy's looking for water you're ruining my video again and um, yeah I'm just trying to keep positive right now because today actually it's been a sad day for me it's um, my sister's anniversary so yeah 21 years ago today my sister was tragically killed in a car accident and um, I suppose it impacted my entire life and my families and the way we are and the people we are. So I'm trying not to dwell on it too much but it is in the back of my mind and it's kind of in the back of my mind for all of July. Um, but I think if you dwell on sad things it can kind of really engulf your life and um, I think it's good to take a moment to be sad and just think about you know the person that's gone from your life and what could have been but also um, if you make that your life that sadness your life it's kind of defeating the purpose of um, you know people die and it's a circle of life and it's sad and it's sad that they're not with us anymore but 
as I said, it's the circle of life. Everyone, everyone has to go at some point. And obviously, my sister was taken from us far too early. And like, I was only twelve, and she was fifteen. She was my big sister. And it does. It makes me sad to think that I could have a sister, another sibling. I have two other amazing sisters who are brilliant parents. They're both mums and they're teachers and. They have beautiful children. They gave me my um, niece and three nephews, who I adore. And I have a great brother who's 21. He was only a baby when my sister died. So he never even got to know her, which is sad for him. He feels like he missed out on knowing part of our family. So for me, I just, I feel bad for what could have been. And you know, it was a really, really sad and tragic time in my family but I think I've I've used it to drive me forward I suppose not using the sadness but using um, the experience and knowing that there's good things in life as well as sad things and um, I think everyone like I said um, I think I put it up on Instagram everyone has a story everyone has something sad that's happened in their lives um, no one's story is more significant than anyone else because everyone's story is their own and whatever drives you to be the best that you can be, um, that's a worthwhile story. So don't ever let anyone say that your story isn't more worthwhile than theirs or that your sadness is more sad than theirs. Or, you know, it's just weighing up your life and making the best of bad situations and moving on and um, being positive because I'm really on a positivity buzz lately and just trying to be consciously positive rather than uh, getting bogged down in sad times. As I said, um, Lex is away for the day. Uh, so I've been entertaining myself with my little girls. Oh, you love your mommy, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. So these are my little angels now, yeah. My little angels. And uh, they keep me company. They keep me happy. Yeah. Where's daddy? Where's Lex? He gone. So take happiness from the little things in life. Like your little black pug. And enjoy life. And don't get bogged down in bad or sad things that are happening in your life because Soon it'll be in the past and you'll be making new memories with new people and um, it's always good to have memories regardless of whether they're sad or happy. That's what life's about. So enjoy life. It's my little moment.